Ask any physical product company and they'll tell you online product reviews are so vital for their business. The reason for that is people want to hear from other people and their first-hand experience with the product before handing over their hard-earned money. So I want to see if we could build a series of AI agents using GPT-4 that would create a detailed, human-sounding, authentic, product review. And stick around to the end because I'll talk a bit about the use cases for this kind of AI system as well as the next steps. So let's strategize a bit of a game plan here. The first thing we will need is information about their product. And we really want to give it a sense of what a human experience is like interacting with their product. So we're going to use real product reviews from sites like Amazon and other blogs as input. So that means our first agent will need to do research through web scraping to grab text off these websites. This one isn't actually an AI agent, but I'll still review it briefly because I found a good way to scrape data using a library called HTTPX and Beautiful Soup to remove the HTML. So now that we have the scraped data from that first agent, it'll pass it to the second agent, but that data is still going to have a lot of useless text in it. Things like headers and footers from the website, menu text, all that kind of stuff that's on websites. So what the data cleaning agent will do is strip out all the useless data and just leave the good stuff behind. And I was planning to use GPT 3.5 Turbo, but I ended up having to use GPT 4, and I'll explain why when I get to that agent. And then finally, we get to the production agent. That's gonna take all the clean data from that cleaning agent and put it together to give us a new product review. And as you'll see, the results are pretty impressive. And the product we're gonna use for this project is this backpack. I've actually owned it for a while, so it gives me a good position to be able to Judge the accuracy of the output. First agent is a collect data Python agent. And this is what scrapes the website data. And the first thing you have to do is provide us some URLs to use to scrape the data off. And I've divided them into long form URLs and short form URLs. I'll explain why a bit later. But basically the long form URLs are just one single review site. So these, are, these two are a couple of blogs I found for this backpack. The short form ones are a lot of reviews on one web page. So in this case, it's the Amazon link to the product reviews for that product. So we're using HTTPX library, which is an HTTP client that seems to work really well. At this point, it's just HTML text and JavaScript. So we need to strip out all that stuff and just leave us the text behind. So for that, we use beautiful soup. And I have a bit of code here that just takes the output from HTTPX, strips all the unnecessary stuff out, and just leaves us the text behind. When we run it, you can kind of see that. This this text read is what comes from HTTPX. And you can see in here there is reviews, but it's all it's got all the other tags along with it. Then after Beautiful Soup comes in, it just gives us the text back. Now this still has some data that's useless, some header data and such, but that's what we'll use AI to strip out in the next agent. So now that we have the scraped data files, we can use our clean data agent, which is an AI agent, to take out all the junk from them. So we start by just simply iterating through our collected data folder and grabbing all the files in there. And the ones that start with SF for short form, we pass that to our extract review function as a parameter. And inside that function, we have an if statement for if it is a short form, we have a different instruction than if it's a long form. So for the short form, we actually want to combine product reviews together, remove all irrelevant data. And I give instructions to just take the high quality product reviews and consolidate them into a single product review. And I specifically call out that it should have features, pros, cons, and ratings. Then for the long form ones, I don't need to do that consolidation, but what I do want it to do is extract only the product review sections from the text. With those two custom instructions, then we call GPT-4. I tried to deal with 3.5 Turbo, but the problem I was having was it would remove too much of the text. It would remove the junk, but it would also remove some of the good parts of the reviews themselves for some reason. And I tried a bunch of different things with the instructions and I couldn't get it to work. But as soon as I went back to GPT-4 Turbo, it worked well. So once we call GPT-4 Turbo, we just basically just put in the instruction and then put in the scraped data from that file we just opened. And we save it to a file, this time the clean data directory. And after we run that, we see the three files in here, but now they're clean with just the relevant data, ready for our production agent. Now the final agent actually generates our new review. And the way I do that is I take all the reviews we scraped and cleaned, put them all together, and I use a unique separator here, and then pass that to GPT-4 Turbo. And then it, for my instructions to the AI, I tell it what I'm using for a separator, and then tell it to use all these examples as inspiration and generate professional, concise product review. I want to sound authentic and relatable to everyday people interested in purchasing the product. The goal of that kind of language is so we can get a product review that sounds like it's made by a real person and not by an AI. And then we simply call GPT-4 Turbo again. And I tested it with GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo, and I find they're pretty equivalent for this type of task. So you're better off just using the faster, cheaper model. And then we just pass in the instruction, add a few lines, and then put in all our reviews with the separators. And once we get a response, we just save it to a file. And if we run it, there we can see our final AI product review. The final result is really impressive. 
is blending those three data sources, the two blogs and all the Amazon reviews, and coming up with a review that I think is better than all those. And especially the pros and cons section. I've owned this backpack for a few years and I know that all the points made in the pros and the cons are correct. The first hand experience section is good, but could use a few tweaks. Like for example, the first line where it says hefting the backpack on my back for the first time sounds a little bit off to me, a little inauthentic, but again, very minor adjustments. So what could you use an AI system like this for? The first thing that comes to my mind is you could do this for a bunch of different products and put all the reviews on a website and then slap affiliate links on all the pages. And it's also a good starting point for marketing material. If you're actually selling a product, you have a company that's selling a product, you could do this on other related products to give you a really good idea of how to market it. So now the code to GitHub, you can have a look for yourself. So what would be next in terms of improving the code though? I think the first thing is looking everywhere you do custom instructions and really fine tune those for the results you want. The other thing is you could add more agents. For example, you could add a storytelling agent. You could take a storytelling agent to give you a story about the, using the product and put that into the review. I think that'll be really powerful. Also on the research side, you can have an agent do Google searches and evaluate the quality of the different articles. One thing I'm gonna experiment with and have a video soon on is I'm gonna switch out the OpenAI APIs for the Google Gemini APIs and see how that works. So if you wanna check that one out, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.